guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing the top 10 most anticipated comics for the month. So let's jump into this list. Number 10 for me is The Ambassadors Issue 1. I'm really excited for this book. This seems like a very creative endeavor from Mark Millar from Image Comics, where he, I believe it's six issues long, so he is teaming up with six different artists, great all-star artist and the book is about six different people getting superpowers and they're gifted this how if only six people in the world could get superpowers i think there's a really interesting ethical story that could be told there and artistically just seems like a really cool idea Moving on to number nine, which is Superman Lost Issue One, and this is a, a new mini series from Christopher Priest. You know, I feel like a lot of times these type of series where it's just like an offshoot is about Batman, so it's nice that we're getting a Superman story. And you know, we have obviously seen Superman in space before, but I'm curious to see how this is gonna be different from other Superman tales and, and, and what types of stories we're gonna get with that with, you know, a great writer like Christopher Priest. Moving on to number eight, which is Spider-Gwen Shadow Clones Issue One. I love Spider-Gwen, so of course I want to see what the next volume of, of the, the character is going to bring. Uh, you know, I, I wish that we had been getting ongoing series with Spider-Gwen, but hopefully if these miniseries do well enough, and obviously we have Across the Spider-Verse coming out, we will get that Spider-Gwen ongoing series again. Uh, so definitely support the miniseries if you want more Spider-Gwen. Moving on to number seven, which is Ridgeline issue one. I'm a sucker for a father-daughter story, and this is about a father and daughter who are survivorless and they gotta survive uh, as they go against some, some enemies here. I just thought it was a really interesting uh, take on, on the father-daughter dynamic as, again, the visuals that could be told as well as people that know how to survive and, and has been building their whole lives to, to learn how to do so and put into a situation where they have to do so. Number six for me is No One, issue one. And I'm a big fan of Kyle Higgins' work. I'm also a fan of Brian Bucciolato's work, so to see them teaming up is is definitely wonderful. And I, I just love everything that Kyle Higgins has been doing to make Radiant Black or the Massive Verse uh, just innovative. Uh, so this book in general, we, we get a crime side of the massive verse. So it's still superheroes, but it's more towards Taylor towards noir. And this also has a podcast. So a serial type podcast uh, that is going to be aired as a comic airs. And that's just a, such an interesting way to explore different mediums and, and possibly get different type of people to read this comic as well. I just everything that Kyle is releasing, I'm, I'm just on the edge of my seat to be like, oh man, how is this gonna be innovative? Making a cartoon or uh, just the, the ideas that he comes up with uh, has just been so great and, and refreshing to the industry. Moving on to number five, which is Batgirls issue 16. I really love the last arc of Batgirls. This is the start of a new one. Still continu continuing the seeds to happen in the previous with Clue Master and they're gonna, the Batgirls are gonna try figuring out who sent Clue Master? And there's a lot of jaw-dropping moments from issue 15 that I really think could plant some wonderful seeds for the future storytelling of Batgirls. Moving on to number four, which is It's Jeff, issue one. This is a Marvel digital comic that was released, honestly, I think over a year ago, and they're finally releasing it as a physical book. And Kelly Thompson's writing it, the creator of Jeff. I loved West Coast Avengers. I thought it was a very um, underrated series. It was so much fun. And Jeff, obviously, was the shining star of that and there's not enough comedy books there's not there's not enough books like this so i'm i'm very happy to see it also come to the direct market moving on to number three which is adventures of superman john kent issue one and i i, I like the john kent series and I, i'm excited to see if, if this is going to be like my pick of the week every month now that we have injustice also involved in this so i i loved injustice gods among us by tom taylor i think most people did so to kind of have the spin of what he does really well elsewhere worlds with you know a property like John Kent I think it's gonna be really interesting to see uh, where he takes that character and the miniseries in general Moving on to number two, which is X-23 Deadly Regenesis issue one. It's been a while since we've gotten a Laura Just only Laura story. I feel like honestly it was the last one 
Tom Taylor. I don't think so. I think Mariko did a, did a run after that. Uh, but it's been a while, and especially an X-23 series. Yeah, Mariko did the X-23 series right after Tom. Um, but that was a while ago, so I'm, I'm definitely uh, curious to see, is this going to be tied into Krakoa? Is it going to be her own adventures? Will Gabby be involved in this? There's there's so many different routes you can go with it. And Laura's just such a wonderful character, and, and especially in the past like five years, has been developed even further. Uh, so I want to see if this saga continues that development. Moving on to number one, which is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 21. Of course, this is hopefully the starts of the reveal of all the questions we had about Mary Jane and Peter and what happened to them, which is obviously something I'm very curious about. So I'm, I'm very excited about this story and I, I hope it sticks the landing and I, I hope we actually get answers. Uh, so that's my top 10 most anticipated comics of the month. Let me know in the comments below what are the comics you're most looking forward to. This is Comic Uno and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.